Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and Happy New Year! Uh, with the new year and the fresh start, uh, I got news that this Monster Hunter-like game, Jaeger, uh, had just recently uh, released early access for certain regions, uh, including my own. So I thought, hey, I was uh, a little bit interested in this game. I'm no Monster Hunter expert myself. But uh, the graphics did look cool, and, you know, I'm always down to pick up an interesting mobile game, especially hot off the presses before the beginning of 2022. So let's dive into the world of Jaeger and see what it's all about. Eckers, a planet dominated by beasts. Under the threat of fangs and claws, humanity lived as nomads, barely surviving. Humanity discovered Kalar, and with that escaped the massacre. Kalar, the power to change life. It enlightens and nourishes all life forms. With this mysterious power, they overthrow the tyrants of the realm. After countless battles, they finally earned a peaceful home. They rose in the name of Vidran and embarked on rebuilding their home. However, Kala is not purely just a blessing. The wheel of fate has begun to turn again. I guess mankind is doomed. I, mean, I guess this is me. I will be playing the tutorial to prove myself worthy. Slide the left joystick to move. Uh, or I can just move the left joystick to move. I moved. Slide on a blank space to adjust your view. Uh, okay, I got it. Yep, there you go. Uh, I don't know if this will have controller support. I'm going to guess probably not from the offset. But Tap you the never... lock on button to keep the beat. <laughs> I am, I am locked on. Nope. Tap the weapon moveless button to attack. Or no power up. Observe the beast's movements carefully, then tap it. <laughs> that wasn't the beast movements. I just got hit by fallen rocks. I guess it's telling me navigate through the uh, the dangerous. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Through the dangerous room. Yeah. All right, I've walked on. go too heavily on me, seeing that this is just a tutorial. I will try and uh, 
not be a bonehead when it comes to attacking the big giant monsters. Take this, hiya! I don't know what that says up there, but it's going really fast, and I couldn't really care less at this time. I'm sure it's something that's like, oh, person X has received something. Behold his glory. Uh, and like I said, got bigger fish to fry. Thank you. And we'll see if we can turn that off, because... Uh, Switch weapons. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm so skilled. Uh, I kind of need that. Did I win? Wake up! Hey, wake up! It's me, Hila. How oh, hi, Hila. Are you all right? Oh. No. Was it that dream again? Uh, yeah, dream. Sure. I can't make anything of your dream. Anyway, don't worry about that for now. You're gonna need your wits about you. After all, today uh. is the day of the trial. Let's get going. I don't want to be late. Oh, of course. It's an RPG. I'm the main character, and there's a trial. The time has come, warriors. It is the only way for you to become true hunters. I am confident that you are well prepared. <laughs> well, some of you, at least. Tell me your names. Chopper. Kelton. And you. What's your name? My name is Shin Virtuality. Uh, and of course you have the customary, you know, character creator here, so let's... I don't know why it keeps touching off like it is. Uh, I also don't understand why the uh, character customization are so finely tuned like this, where your character probably won't get as much... Um, up close shots. Ah, and again. Very well. May these names become the pride of Vidor. Before yeah, leave, sure. Choose a weapon and receive your final training. Okie dokie. Uh, do I get to move here at all? Game. Okay, sure. I guess that didn't turn that off. By the way, don't forget to switch to your weapon that you're most familiar with. Do you know how to switch weapons, don't you? Uh, yeah, I think I saw it in a dream. Got some rewards. And I leveled up. New feature unlocked. School! get to learn some baddies. Uh, okay. Am I going to school? Uh, okay. Well, everything looks so nifty and cool, I guess. Okay, so 
What do I do exactly here? It seems that everything is ready. Let the hunter's trial begin. You know, if you're not going to have the characters talk, I guess I got to do it for them, right? Uh, so yeah, let's get into a thing here. Where do I need to go? Show me where I need to go, game. I will go where you tell me. Do you want to start the hunter's trial? Go immediately! Sure, why not? Game is telling me I have to do this, right? Well, the upper text there at least would be going on a little bit of a better clip, but uh, still don't care. Yeah. We've reached our destination. Let's go. Oh, you just jump out. Where are we dropping, boys? Hey, that's no fair. I haven't even gotten to the ground yet. I guess I should have picked bow or gun or something. I survived. I'm so cool. Did I miss the landing spot? <laughs> I didn't even know where the landing spot was. Oh my goodness. You'll pay for that. Keep it down. So the beast attacked me and came to insert his dominance and then let me go. So uh, I guess I don't need to worry about it. I guess I'll go chase this this monster. This slasher. Get back here. I'm not done hunting you yet. Come back here. I'm going to get you. Goodness, you're a big one. Yeah, bad breath. This blood gog rug, blood gorg. You're nothing but a big toad. Hiya! 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 Ow! How dare you! <laughs> the beast has fallen. Yeah, the beast has fallen. My weapon isn't doing as much damage as it was during that dream sequence. Damaged. Ow! Uh. 
Not doing a good enough job getting out of the way, you know. A beast part has been damaged. <laughs> Which beast part? Oh, his scaly back. A hey, beast running. part has been damaged. Get back here. And it's stab your butt. The beast has fallen. <laughs> I was about to say, you're just gonna let me slash at you like this, so I'll do it. I'll do it. Where were you during all this? Yes! The trial is complete. You are now a full-fledged hunter. I know. I am the greatest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that this world's fist bump? Arm smashing? I am victorious. Triple S rank. Couldn't get any better than double S. They found another way to slap another S on there. This is a grand hunting event, my dear children. Many of you have become true hunters. There are also some for whom the journey has been hard, but you mustn't lose hope. After this trial, I'm sure you have learned to meet monsters in battle. You now know the threat of fangs and claws. There is great value in this knowledge. We also had a surprise today, when one of you managed to fell a beast during the trial. This is an outstanding achievement. You mean felling the beast wasn't the trial? Hunter. This uh, is your first young woman, thank you. Becoming a great hunter. You still have a long way to go, but right now, all you need to do is rest and relax. And before that, I have something to say to you. Go away. Yeah, another level up for me. Yay. Have some roast meat, my friend. Wait a second. You're the youngster who took down the bolt gog. Grog. Grog. Even the roamer praised your feet, not just the hunters. Hey, could you do me a little favor? I'm still missing some ingredients for my new recipe. Don't worry, you won't have to go far. You can find them near the hunter's trial area. Now, these veteran hunters don't have time to do favors for me. And inexperienced hunters don't dare go, don't, don't dare to go alone. But you've defeated a, one of those froggy thingies. So I think it should be a piece of cake for you. After all, you are the player character after all. Help me out, and I'll let you be the first to taste my new dish. Promises, promises. Haha, ha. these are exactly what I need. Well done! Let me see. Russer meat, slasher bile, and some big froggy eyes. You'll be the first to taste my dish when it's finished. Sounds yummy. What's going on? The noises seem to be coming from the killer heart. Something must have happened. Go check it out. No. What if I don't want to? 
What if I just want to sit here in your company, Kent, as you barbecue me my next meal? All right, fine, I'll go. Jeez. is missing. I am concerned. <laughs> oh, I can actually walk out of the ship in this one. It's too quiet. Feels like someone is watching us. But I don't feel anything. I'd trust a warrior's instincts if I were you. Okay. A medium senses are more reliable. We have the eyes of a Thisbe and the ears of a Russer. Neither a breeze in the leaves nor the rustling of the grass escapes my... Oh, well, you two keep it down. Our thing, we don't care about your thing. Uh, okay, enough already. Can we get on with the uh, the monster hunting here? guys do it. Alright, now this is what we're talking about. Wall there, thank you. Ow. This is not going as good as I thought it might. You're going. A beast part has been damaged. Yay! Damaged beast parts. The beast has fallen. Yay! Beast part has been damaged. Ah, uh, you're not getting away from me. Beast part has been damaged. Oh, I got his tail. I need healing. You can use the vitality fruit during battle to recover HP. Well, I guess I must do that. Yeah, oh, that worked. The beast has fallen. 
And it will fall. I am the chosen one. Foolish beast. Foolish NPC. Okay, I've spent some time in the game here, and uh, admittingly, the uh, starting bits were a little bit slow going. Um, couldn't really make much of the story, not that the fact that there wasn't one. Um, <laughs> stuff in it wasn't overly interesting, at least from a recording and trying to make it fun or interesting. Um, just to sort of catch you guys up, uh, you know, artifacts are stolen, um, <laughs> investigations were conducted, uh, enemies became friends, friends became enemies, deities were summoned, so on and so forth. But you know what? We came here for the hunt, and I want to continue with the hunt. So um, you go through the process of the game, and in about uh, a couple of hours, you slowly unlock various bits such as all this here uh, so just to go over quickly um, the school which is your weapons um, interesting that I think I have found and I'll still have to play around with this I can actually switch out my weapons uh, and I think the weapon is actually carried over to whatever level I've upgraded it to at this point I think my uh, I think my sword was level 20, so if I go into, sorry, if I go into Forge, yeah, it's it has my axe, now that I've equipped it, up to that specific level as well. Uh, but I kind of like the sword, so that's what I'm going to stick with. Um, but you know what, you can sort of out outfit your character uh, the way you want it to at a moment's notice uh, with no real repercussion, which I kind of enjoy. So if I get sick of using the sword, then maybe I'll switch it up. Uh, the school doesn't take long to unlock. Uh, you have these abilities uh, on three separate branches. Uh, just basically does um, whatever your fighting style is like. So you're given two abilities and if you want to outfit your character with one of those two abilities you select it and then do that three times and you basically got your character combat art arms arts in place uh, they also have these killer arts which i've sunk a lot of resources into um, they basically will beef out your your character in in the allotted um, I guess stat that it does so that's all cool and then you have this art core which you can plunk other things into I have these berserker runes that do uh, basically critical rate increase so uh, critical rate critical damage so you know what? I like that so we'll keep it as such but that's not all uh, again, going into the Forge Equipment, uh, I actually, it wasn't that hard to get through the Novice Hunter's gear, so I did all that. Uh, and as you can see, <laughs> I didn't realize my sword was changing as I was going through. So you start off with the level 5, level 10, level 15, and now that I'm getting into the Elite Hunter's the level 20 type weapons but not only for weapons you have all your armor pieces your sub weapon to to forge um, and like i said didn't take an awful lot to get here um, just need materials from hunts which oddly enough is the name of the game uh, and then i also have <laughs> my own little mushroom guy as you can see down here so he is known as a retainer which of course you can roll for so that's, I guess, where this game's gotcha system is put into play. Uh, so I decided to save some stuff and we'll do the summon retainer part together. 
Uh, I think I have a chance for 23 pulls. I've pulled a couple of times. Oh, you actually have a free one at the beginning of the day, so we'll do that first. You know, just in case we get something good. Uh, and of course, it's all color structure, so blue, uh, rare, uh, purple is super rare, and then I think gold is super duper rare or super super rare. Uh, but yeah, we got another wolfy type creature. Uh, and now we'll do a summon five because th from the bar on the top, it seems like the more that you roll, the greater chances you get to get a super rare or super super rare. So we'll do this five pull. Oh, looks like they're all going to be super rares. So we'll get some new characters in our midst. Oh no, we got another rare Charmilla. Uh, and then because we've done that, we can receive our first reward on this progression bar, I guess. Um, but we'll roll a little bit more. I'll roll a little bit more after the video, but just wanted to give you guys a taste of that. So now that we have some new retainers in our midst, yeah, we can increase their XP. Confirm. And now he's a uh, level 15. They can't sort of go above your your level so if I'm only t level 23 which I believe I am now uh, they can't get past that until you level up but that's fine uh, and then rather going rather than going through the story bits uh, what I did want to do um, we'll investigate a little bit more of the town here so this is just your your town where you come back after the hunt uh, so you got your NPCs and they give quests and subquests and everything under the sun. Uh, but this is sort of where you want to go because you have expeditions. You just square up against one of the many, many beasts that are in the world. Uh, and you can do it alone or teaming up with a group. Uh, I haven't had any sort of luck teaming up with anyone yet. Uh, what you also have here, oh, the menu's right there, uh, you have beast bounties, which is sort of the same thing. Go, uh, they'll, they'll queue up some beasts and you can get them for extra goodies. Uh, and then you have world exploration, which is the thing that I kind of like. So we were already in the Forest of Ancients and we'll proceed into the Volnar Valley. So you have a map and we have here, we have the Gust Mao and the Tarkrium. I think he's a pretty, pretty interesting monster. So let's proceed over to camp two. We'll just create this. Yep. And then it sort of drops you into the world and you're just sort of free to explore um, this area's map. Uh, so what do we got? We got 206. The markers are for the, the hunts that can be conducted in this environment. And I think we said we wanted to go after this guy first, so we'll do that. And we start a hunt. Just to make sure I'm locked onto him. Powering up does sort of give my character some extra oomph in their swing. Uh, but when I go into these lava lava puddles that they create. At least that this guy creates. He's a he's a pretty fiery character, as you can see. Uh, and then, yeah, my little mushroom retainer, <laughs> his uh, fellow, is uh, attacking him under his own accord. 
which is good, but we're pretty powerful, so this guy won't last too long. I'll try not to bone it up by being on the wall here. Let out a roar. I've already taken out one of their health bars. Uh, you get the multiple health bar based on the diamonds that are sort of right beside it, but once they get one knocked out of the way, uh, most of the monsters will run into a new area. And then you'll go to sleep. Which is fine for me because it'll give me a chance to level power up my sword and <laughs> finish him off. I think my retainer finished it off before I can deal the final blow there. Um, and then you get his goodies. Uh, and then once he's done, uh, another monster appears on the map for hunting and you're free to carry on with the hunt. Uh, what do we have here? The guest now and parasitic aquabug. You know, we'll uh, we'll head to him. So let's track. Yeah. So it'll clear on. And then another cool thing when in the world exploration, you click on a camp and say, "I want to go there." So we say yes. We get our little bug glider thingy. And it instantly drops us into this particular camp. Uh, okay, so that's where our tracking for this particular, particular hunt is taking us. So let's go to it. Yep, and there it is. So like I said, I've been enjoying sort of this this hunt mechanic for sure. Uh, whether it's through this particular one, yes, yes, we get it. You're angry. Uh, I've been enjoying this sort of aspect of the game. Which, you know, I think Monster Hunter was like that. I, Like I said, I've never actually played a, an awful lot of Monster Hunter, and it sort of makes me question on why there hasn't been a proper Monster Hunter game made for mobile. Uh, and that didn't take long to uh, take out that that particular monster. Like I said, we're pretty powerful for this particular area, so I don't know if if uh, monsters will sort of continually get a little bit more powerful as we complete each hunt. You have your also your smaller creatures sort of in the area that you can get little items for, I guess. You can also pick up the flora and fauna to to sort of outfit your character in this particular instance. But yeah, still lots of, you know, a couple things to do in here. So we got the armored sloth. Uh, I think we did the armor sloth before, so we're going to go for that guy. Uh, and we'll track him. Pick that up. Yep, we can pick up more vitality... Vitality berries. Traversing through these areas are pretty simple too. You got these sort of jump pads or hook points that you can sort of make your character... You know, traverse greatly. Um, <laughs> I won't give it much, uh... Ah, yes. Scream your heart out. Uh, I won't give the game too much flack. It is kind of cool to jump great distances like that. Yeah, this guy's gonna go down pretty quickly. 
get my retainer after him. And then you can charge up. Oh, I already took out two health bars and he hasn't run away yet. Yep, done. <laughs> oh, go away, you, uh... You Velociraptor type monsters. So yeah, I'm sure like in the later bits of the game when uh, when things get crazy, um, it'd be nice to go up a go up against a super powerful hunt uh, with another group of uh, of players. I think you can create a team of four, um, and yeah, just just sort of load it out. I I I sort of like cooperative games like this, and uh, I don't know if anyone. Uh, on my channel sort of has an interest in in playing some of this uh, I think I'll be playing it for a while so uh, by all means uh, let me know in the comments if uh, if this interests you at all so this has been my quick play of Jaeger um, like I said, it's available in certain territories as a early access game. I'm sure the um, the global release will be coming out very soon, considering um, there is as much in, into the game as I can see right now. Uh, and like I said, if you see it available in your regions and want to check it out, you can pick it up for free on the app stores. If you enjoyed this video, hit me up with a like, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming goodness, because you'll never know what I'll be picking up next. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching everyone, and Happy New Year. Bye.